Hello everyone, Steve Gans here and welcome back to our number four Greek and the final Greek in the Options Trading 101 series that we're going to cover and that is Vega. So Vega is a probably one of the more important Greeks. They're all important, but just to review again what the Greeks are, they're an options traders instrument cluster. They help you understand how to model the variations in stock price, volatility, days to expiration, et cetera, and how those different variations are going to impact your overall position. They can be determined by a number of formulas, including Black-Scholes, binomial, trinomial, and others. The most common are Black-Scholes and binomial, and it's important to remember that the Greeks will vary with the size of your position. For example, if you have two long calls, the Greeks are pretty much going to be double what they would be if you had one long call. So Vega essentially equals volatility. Vega measures the sensitivity of an options price to changes in implied volatility. Vega is highest for at-the-money options, and it decreases as your strike price moves further in or out of the money. Vega tells you how much the price of an option is expected to change for every 1% change in implied volatility. It's a positive number for both call and put options because the price of an option increases as implied volatility increases and the price of the option decreases as implied volatility decreases. Vega is a dynamic measure, meaning that it changes as implied volatility changes. This is because the value of an option is affected by the implied volatility of the underlying asset. Remember that whole extrinsic value thing. As volatility increases, that extrinsic value gets larger. As volatility decreases, that extrinsic value decreases. Vega is a useful tool for options traders because it can help them to manage their risk and by example, if a trader is long a call option with a Vega of 0.20, this means that the trader's profit will increase by 20 cents for every 1% increase in implied volatility. This will help a trader determine essentially how much risk they have on when they look at their position Vega. So when we look at trading volatility, Many traders don't realize that options traders specifically have to understand how volatility is going to impact their options price because you're not only trading the price of the underline, in many cases you're also trading volatility. That's what professional option traders are looking for. And I'll give you some examples of how they use that in their favor. Given that an increase in volatility is going to cause an increase in the options price, as that, again, that extrinsic value increases, here's how a trader can profit from that. If you buy options and the volatility of your options increases, your position is going to gain in value. If you buy an option and the volatility of your option decreases or shrinks up, your position is going to lose some value. If you sell an option, which is what many options traders do, is they're selling options, and the volatility of your option increases, that's not going to be good for you. But if you sell options when volatility is high, and then that volatility decreases or shrinks up, your position's going to gain in value. A takeaway here is that trading options it's like playing three-dimensional chess in some cases because you're often not only looking at the underlying price movement to make money in your position, but you also have to consider how the future volatility changes might impact your options position as well. You may have heard the term selling volatility. Selling options is like selling insurance. In volatile markets, it's what a lot of traders do. When that volatility picks up, those options premiums get higher because that extrinsic value grows. And that's when those of us um, that are option sellers swing into action and we take a higher amount of premium for selling that insurance. And on the flip side, we're more likely to buy options when the volatility is really low and we think that there might be an impending increase in volatility coming up due to some event, et cetera, in the future. 
let's go ahead and take a look at, again, option strat. And we're going to look specifically at Vega or volatility in options. And we can see if we go to our Greeks page here, I'm just using the exact same Apple short put example. And we can see the Vega here at a negative 30. And we can see as volatility increases, we can see how that impacts our position. If the, our, this represents, this T0 line right here represents the value of our option. With volatility being at its current rate of 25.5, no big deal. Again, remember, we're short an option here. We're short a put. If volatility increases, that's not going to be good for our position. That's going to create a significant loss in this position. If volatility shrinks up in this position, that's going to be favorable for our position. Again, right now, we are short, in this case, a put. If I flip the tables on this and we go long, a put. In this case, we're thinking Apple's going to go down is why we might have bought this put. If volatility increases here because we own that put, that's going to help our position. If volatility shrinks because we're long that put, that is going to hurt our position. So we can also, again, unique that we can do this in the software here, I can come in with option strat and I can specifically model Vega as well. And I can see how as the implied volatility increases, my Vega widens out in a much, much wider pattern. If volatility shrinks, if I'm on the outer edges here, if my strikes are in these outer areas, that's where I'm going to gain value in that short position. That's going to wrap up number four of our Greeks, which is volatility. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. Take care.